I found a super secret method to turn on performance mode for console and this works for both Xbox and PlayStation. So in this video, I'll be using performance mode in ranked and seeing how much it improves my gameplay. So make sure you watch until the end to see how I turn on performance mode for console and my new settings. So this is typically what console looks like without the performance mode settings on. As you can see, every time you break builds, there's a bunch of debris and it makes it almost impossible to see your enemies. So whether you're jumping to a box or chopping out your enemy, it's almost impossible to see them. However, with the performance mode settings turned on, you can see the game is a lot brighter with less shadows. And most importantly, there's no debris whatsoever when you break any builds. So stay tuned until the end of the video to see how to turn performance mode on for console and my updated settings. So now it's time to test the performance mode in a ranked game if it really does improve my gameplay. And I'm in the elite rank, so this should be a good lobby. Oh, there's a guy right underneath me. Wait, is he right here? Oh, 200. Oh my, 100. Jumping on that. Give me that wall. Oh my gosh, 200. Don't ever pickaxe swing on a wall. Oh. Wait, what? Is this kid hiding? What's he doing? Oh my gosh, 100. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, he's 1 HP. He's literally 1. Oh, let's go. I was about to say if he didn't die. But you can definitely notice the difference with the performance mode on. Like when I destroy the builds, there's no debris at all. And it makes it so much easier to play. And I'll definitely be using this in my future videos, streams, and tournaments. Because I know in the future, I'm going to get a bunch of questions and comments asking me how I got no debris on my builds. So make sure you watch the tutorial at the end of the video. Okay, you can just spray through these builds and oh my gosh, it's so easy to see. Why is he running at me? 200. Let's go. Block all this off. Where did this guy go? Is he in the bush? No way. 70? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, this is so broken. You can clearly see through the walls like easily. Oh my gosh, I might be cheating. If you guys copy my graphic settings, you can see in the storm so much easier as well. It's almost literally performance mode for console. Any extra mats over here? Is there a guy in here? I swear there is. Yeah, there is. What a weirdo. 100? Oh my gosh. Dude, you literally can just jump in and there's just no debris. It's so nice. Damn. This kid's dead. Oh my gosh, I might be cheating literally. What's this guy doing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have no idea what he was doing. Now I just chill here. There's three people left. Oh my gosh. I have to jump in on that. These settings are actually aim, but. Oh my. Oh, peace. 200. Let's go. The fact there's no debris, like, you can literally jump in. Oh my gosh. Good. that. 200. Let's go. Get off. Last guy right here. 50. Oh my gosh, I'm moving. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Where's he going? There's a broom ahead. Holy, these settings are actually crazy. 100? Dead, let's go. So there you guys go. That's a 13 kill win in elite level ranked lobbies. Keep watching the video, don't click off yet because I'm going to show you guys how to do this for your console because I totally recommend doing this and using my graphic settings and aimbot settings with it is absolutely broken. So the settings and the tutorial will be right after this. So to turn on performance mode for the PlayStation, all you need is two PlayStation 5 controllers and also you need two PlayStation accounts. So with your main controller, make sure you log into your main Fortnite account, then load up Fortnite. Once you're on Fortnite, turn on your second controller and press the PlayStation button. Then from here with your second controller, you want to log into your alt account. And just like that, it's done. You should have no debris when you break any builds now.
So for my Xbox players to do the performance mode glitch, all you need is one controller and two accounts. And trust me, you can't get banned for this, but all you need to do is log into your alt account and then your main Fortnite account. And once both accounts are signed in, make sure you switch to your alt account and load up Fortnite from your alt account. This is super important. And it should ask you which account you wanna play Fortnite on. This is when you press your main account. And just like that, the glitch is done. So jumping right into my settings, if you guys want a full depth explanation of why I use every single setting and what setting you should have on and off, make sure you check out the videos right before this. But for my graphics page on the Xbox Series S, this is what I'm using. So I have 120 FPS mode on, 150% brightness, one for the user interface contrast, no colorblind mode, and colorblind strength is at 10. For my motion blur, you wanna have this turned off, especially if you play competitive, and then show FPS on. And if you pair these graphic settings with the no debris glitch, this will basically give you performance mode on console, or at least the closest thing you can get on console. And then for the next tab right here, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom for record replays, if you turn off these three replays, this will lower your input delay, especially if you're on console. So record replays off, large team replays are off, and then record creative replays are also off. Have reset building choice on, disable pre-edit option on, turbo building on, this is if you want to lower your input delay when you build. And then for auto confirm edits, I play with edit on release and reset on release. So I have this set on both. And then moving on to the reticle options here, I have my reticle on. Damage numbers are on cumulative opposed to list. This will basically add up all the damage numbers for you. Hits and icons for the feedback. Damage number scale is at 125%. My HUD scale is at 65% with these settings on. And if you don't use keyboard and mouse or gyro settings if you're on PlayStation 5, make sure you have all these settings turned off to the lowest. This will help lower your input delay even more. So have all these numbers at the lowest number possible and have these turned off to lower your input delay. Then for the actual controller settings here, I play with controller auto run on, build immediately builder pro on. This helps to lower your input delay when you build. And then edit hold time is going to be at 0.1 seconds. This is to lower your input delay when you edit. And then slide hold time is at 0.03. I don't touch the camera options and then you want to turn off vibration especially if you play competitive this can mess up your aim and your edits if your controller is shaking for the quick weapon beta i did cover this in my last video and explained why i wouldn't be using this then for the actual controller sensitivity down here i play a five look and a five aim sensitivity for my build and edit mode sensitivity multiplier i play on a 2.1 for both and the golden range I've seen from controller players are 2.0 to 2.3. So anything between those numbers should be decent. I play with advanced options. And then for my look horizontal and vertical speed, they're both going to be at 43%. For the boost, I don't play with any boost at all. It makes me a lot more consistent with my edits and aim if I don't have my boost turned on. So no turning horizontal boost, no vertical boost, no boost ram time, and instant boost when building is turned off. And for my ADS speed, my horizontal and vertical speed are both set at 9%. And just like the look sensitivity, I don't play with any boost at all. So no horizontal boost, no vertical boost, no boost ramp time. Having boost turned on for your building or your aiming will make it a lot faster and snappy. But in the end, I believe it makes you a lot more inconsistent. Look dampening time is set at 0 seconds. Look input curve, I play on linear. This is just preference. I've tried exponential and linear and I still believe linear is the better look input curve. And then for aim assist strength, it's at 100% with my dead zone being 10% for the left and 10% for the right. And if you haven't noticed, my controller settings are consistent all the way out when it comes to the numbers. So for my build and edit, those are both at 2.1. I don't have one all the way at 3 or they're both similar numbers. And then for my look horizontal and vertical, those are both at 43. My ADS, those are both at 9. And then for my dead zone, those are both at 10 with no boost turned on whatsoever. Having your settings at similar numbers like this overall just helps you become a more smooth and consistent player when it comes to editing, building, and even aiming. But for the audio settings here, I'm going to have visual sound effects turned on. And here are my binds. You guys can pause the video if you want to copy the binds. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the video. If you guys made it here, make sure you guys comment down below 230k. We're climbing up to 300k soon. And let me know what you guys think about this performance mode glitch on console. Peace.